So this is the second section of chapter 11 on vectors and this section is about representing vectors. So we're just going to be looking at the different ways in which we can represent a vector. So we can represent a vector graphically. We can represent a vector uh, as a column vector. You can see here um, it's representing the same vector that I've drawn graphically just above it. Or we can represent a vector using what we call the column vectors i and j or the unit vectors i and j. Now what are these? Well basically this is, these are a pair of vectors that run along the x and the y axis. So I'm just going to draw a y axis up here like this is my y axis and here's my x axis here. And the unit vectors i and j as they their name sort of suggests are vectors which are one unit long. So the i vector goes in the x direction, the j vector goes in the y direction. And we can use multiples of these to represent a vector. So I could represent my vector a here using the unit vectors i and j as three i, which basically means three units across, minus two j, which just means two down. Now this makes it very easy to add vectors together in this form, uh, uh, also in column vector form, because all we need to do is to add all the i parts together and add the j parts together when we're adding vectors. And if it's in column vector form, we just add the top row of numbers together and the bottom row of numbers together to get what we call the resultant vector. What's the vector you get once you've added all the, or subtracted lots of different vectors. Example six, a equals a column vector two, six, b equals a column vector three, negative one. In part a, uh, we need to find one third of a, one third of vector a. Okay, that means one third of two, six. So the way that we do that is we just find one third of both of those numbers. So a third of two is going to be two thirds and a third of six is going to be two. So that just gives me the column vector, two thirds, two. Part B, we have A plus B. So A is two, six. And then we add to that um, B, which is three, negative one. So all we do is we add each row. So the top row is just gonna be two plus three. The bottom row is going to be 6 plus negative 1. So if we work that out, we just get the resultant vector 5, 5. Then in part C, we have 2A minus 3B. So what does this mean? This means two lots of A, which is 2, 6, uh, minus three lots of B, and that is three negative one. So let's multiply them first. So two lots of two six becomes four twelve. And then minus three lots of uh, this vector here. So times that by three, I will get nine negative three. So nine negative three. So it becomes four minus nine on the top row, 12 minus negative three on the bottom row. So four minus nine is gonna give me negative five. 12 minus negative three, 12 plus three is going to give me 15. Example seven, A equals three I minus four J, B equals two I plus seven J. In part A, we want to find half A. Now finding half A is finding half of three I minus four J. So it's just like algebra. If this was X and Y or any letters, you would just half the numbers in here. So half of three is three over two or 1.5. Half of four is two. So there we go, that's it. That's all that's needed. Part B, we want to do A plus B. So again, like algebra, we're gonna do three I minus four J. Notice how I'm underlining the I's and J's. Plus two I plus seven J. So now we just collect the like terms. 3i plus 2i is 5i. 
and then negative 4 plus 7 is going to be plus 3j. And then lastly, part C, we have 3a, 3 lots of a minus 2 lots of b. So 3 lots of a, that's 3i minus 4j, minus 2 lots of b, that's 2i plus 7j. So first thing we're going to do is expand the brackets, just like algebra. So times both of these things here by 3. So we'll get 9i minus 12j. And then we're going to times everything here by 2. So we'll get minus 4i minus, uh, sorry, plus 14j. Now you could, if you wanted to, just times everything by negative 2. But then you'd have to change that to a plus to so just take care with that. So that will give us 9 minus 4, which is 5i. And then negative 12 minus 14 would be negative 26j. Just sort that j out. Example 8, part A, draw a diagram to represent the vector negative 3i plus j. Now you remember the unit vectors i and j go this way to the right and up so if we've got negatives it means they're going the other way so going down is going to be negative j and going to the left is going to be negative i so let's pick a starting point here and what i need to do is to go three squares to the left and one square up and i finish here so this will be my vector and we need to have an arrow on it showing our direction. Then in part B, what we need to do is to write this as a column vector. So it's to be minus three at the top and one at the bottom. Example nine, given that A equals two I plus five J, B equals 12 I minus 10 J, and C equals a negative three I plus nine J, find ABC using column vector notation in your working. Right, so the first thing we'll, we will do is we'll write these uh, vectors which are written using the IJ uh, unit vectors as column vectors. So 2i plus 5j just becomes 2, 5. With B, 12i minus 10j becomes 12, minus 10 and c the 3i plus 9j becomes uh, negative 3 so there's a negative 3 there 9 so you can see the basically the coefficient of i goes at the top the coefficient of j goes at the bottom so if i'm going to do a plus b plus c i'm going to do 2 5 plus 12 negative 10 plus negative 3 9 so the top row is going to be 2 plus 12 plus negative 3 minus 3 and the bottom row is going to be 5 plus negative 10 plus 9 so all we knew, do now is to work those out so 12 plus 2 is 14 take away 3 is 11 5 minus 10 is negative 5 plus 9 is 4. So we end up with 11, 4. Now, if we use the ij notation, then we would have got 11i plus 4j, which we can see is equivalent. Example 10. Given a equals 5i plus 2j and b equals 3i minus 4j, find 2a minus b in terms of i and j. Right, so 2a, so 2a minus b is going to be 2 lots of a, so 2 lots of 5i plus 2j minus b, so minus 3i minus 4j. So we expand the brackets to give us 10i plus 4j and then subtract the 3i minus 4j. So our final answer, 10i minus 3i is 7i. And then 
minus negative 4 is not 0, it's going to be 8, 8j. So you should now be able to do exercise 11b on pages 237 to 238 of the textbook.